All right, now that we've seen the affidavit explaining why authorities believe the search of former President Trump's residence was necessary, many are wondering where does that investigation head from here? So Brandon Simmons is with us because he spoke to a law professor and former assistant federal prosecutor about what we could see happen next. And what did you learn? We learned a lot of things today from this professor. And I think the first thing we have to start off by acknowledging is that this is really something that's unprecedented that we're seeing unfold right in front of our eyes. So there's no true framework for how this all plays out and we're seeing that already now today we all got to look at the a portion of that affidavit that was used to justify the search of President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate now mind you as we talked about that document was heavily redacted it was so redacted because this investigation is still ongoing but because this is such a high profile story there has been this push for more transparency <laughs> than we would usually see now in fact a former assistant federal prosecutor now Case Western Reserve University law professor told me He's never seen this before. Revealing it this early is really, really unusual. And that typically is not released because it has all sorts of stuff in it that would compromise the investigation. There's, could be witness names, there could be all sorts of things. Uh, who knows? Now, normally an affidavit like this isn't released until the person being investigated is charged with a crime. Now, based on what was found in the search and the confidential documents that have already been recovered in this investigation, many believe there is enough evidence to charge President Trump at this time. However, we have to remember there's one major unknown that's in play, and that's prosecutorial discretion. Prosecutors at the DLJ aren't required to bring charges, so we don't know if this was a move just to recover those sensitive documents or if those charges could indeed come later. Right, because that uh, those documents are actually property of the National Archives. Right. So that's kind of why this was uh, executed so quickly. That's exactly. Yeah. Top I was, was going to say that's exactly why this came about. The archives, they received that first set of documents, and that's when we found out, hey, there's some classified stuff in here, and that's what initiated this search that happened now, and they found even more documents. So we have to see where this all goes and how it plays out. Mm -hmm. That is something. Brandon, thank you so much. Sure.